Welcome to Peers and Beers. It's a show where we talk to creative professionals about their journey in life and their creative field, all whilst enjoying some cervezas. Sounds pretty great, right? As the conversations flow, so do the beers. So it kind of gets exponentially more fun as we go along, but also there's a lot of great information as we pry into the nitty gritty of their respective field and shoot the shit a little bit and have a good time. It's kind of the vibe here. I hope you learn something, I know I do, and I hope you guys have fun listening because I have fun recording them, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a little bit of booze. Please drink responsibly. But anyway, let's see who we got on the show today. Alpha Change, coming at you from Evanston, Illinois, just north of Chicago. Today we're gonna be drinking a Windy City Classic Old Style the official beer of the Chicago Cubs. Today, I'm gonna to be chopping it up with two of my very good friends, Paul DeRico and Christian Treon, founders of Odysseys. They're a dream pop punk band that started in Los Angeles in 2016. And since then, they've been building up a following. And as of 2020, one of their singles, With You, eclipsed 100,000 listens on Spotify. So. These guys are blowing up. They're the real deal. We had a good discuss just talking about the trajectory of Odysseys, some stuff they got in the works. And without further ado, roll that intro, baby. Check out the guests. Check out the guests. We're about to bring in. Bring in. We're good friends. We're connected on LinkedIn. No overthinking, just over drinking. No overthinking, just over drinking. Drink away your fears. Let's chit chat for 42 years. Let's hope things don't get too weird. Now it's time for beers and beers and beers. Uh, welcome, Odysseys, to Peers and Beers. What an intro that was, wasn't yeah. it? Mm-hmm. It sounded premeditated, didn't it? Quite so. Good at prepping. For some reason, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, in ways, I had a hand in it. Are you serious right now? You're trying no. to take the credit? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying I had a hand in it. Hand in what? The intro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, who's, who's doing the post-production of this. <laughs> That's a good question. Is it you or me? Well, I guess, like, in this interview, you are solely the guest right now. Or are you... I don't really care. <laughs> I uh, can do both. It matters a lot. No, it doesn't. It's because the lower third... Well, why, like, would be, why would I only be a guest? The lower third that I'm putting on you right now in Why would I only be a guest? You are a guest. But why? Because the lower third that I'm putting on you right now, it says guest. Lower third. What, what does yeah. it say on the lower third? Paul, guess. Are, are you the oh. top third? Am I the middle third? No, we all have lower thirds. You know, like in the screen. Like dude, the lower third, third dude. That's body. classist. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, dude. Wow, dude. There, there are times when I just speak without <laughs> thinking, and this is one of them. We all do it. Mm-hmm. And I apologize to the lower third <laughs> of the socioeconomics. Um, it sounded like you said sesame on mix. Yeah, it's, it's when you, uh, Sesame Street? When yeah, you Sesame analyze, Street. Uh, the, economics the social of, economics of Sesame Street. Yeah, Oscar lives in the garbage. Like, that's true. Tough. Yeah, they call him the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch? He lives in a garbage can, of course. He's yeah, behind happy. behind his back. Yeah. Um, so we're that's not cool. co- coming live from Evanston, Illinois. Mm-hmm. This is your guys' domain. Pretty cool. I'd say the coolest, uh, maybe the coolest set design Peers and Beers has ever had. It's probably because we had a hand in that. Well, yeah. <laughs> and I think it says a lot. I think it's definitively the coolest. <laughs> it says a lot about uh, your uh, aesthetic uh, choices you made in mm-hmm. life and your creative eye. Oh, thank you. I said, I said what I meant. I meant what I said. Dude, two compliments in one, just like ice cream and pie. Yeah, speaking of this, thank you for the <laughs> ice cream and pie. Yeah. It's uh, it's very good. It's homemade pie. Is that mm-hmm. correct? That's correct. Is there a recipe? Yeah. 
Can I get it? Can, I, can we get it? Can we do? I don't know. That's, a segment. that's, that's locked in the Dorico vaults right there. Yeah, we really I don't know. Been, May you get the recipe? We should have been filming when we were making this. We could have had B roll of us making it. Yeah, it would have been a nice clip. I do I mean, think we, we have a have, but... we have a photo of that if you want to if you don't pull that up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you want to pull that up? It's right there. It's right there. There's the pie. So yeah, there it's a good, it is. And it's pretty it good is. looking. It's great. So much, there it was. I'll put that on my bill. So much better now that we have this sick uh, visual Picture. setup. Yeah, right? I think so. Because brought it's to you by Old thing. Style. Yeah, Old Style Chicago. Chicago's own. Chicago's yep. own, just like Paul and mm, well, you guys are in Evanston. Which isn't Chicago, and if there's yeah, things Chicago, Chicago Access Chicago Network Television. Will say like, I mean, Cook County. It's Evanston, still it's still you know? Cook County. Yeah, it's still Cook still County. Cook County. I, I grew up in Cook County, and I did not grow up in Chicago. You know? There you go. You know, mm -hmm. there it is. It's, it's a there's a certain longing you have when you're like just outside of it. It's oh, like, tell me about it. That's 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 how I grew up. Yeah, yeah. You're not True. cool enough to be a city kid, not like Christian. That's facts. Christians. Cool ass city kid, grew up in Boston. Mm -hmm. You can uh, listen to the backstory on episode four of Piers and Beers with Christian Trian. That's true. I, I think we also have a clip of that right there, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There it is. That's the clip. Episode four. Speaking of clip. <laughs> yes. Yikes. Eek, five, 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 terrible. Speaking of clip, we'll just clip that right out. <laughs> yeah. Won't even be in the final Cut version. Get out. Hey, buddy. Oh, this is Congo. Uh, we're currently uh, saving Congo. Congo's Hashtag getting, save Congo. Congo's getting his holistic treatment uh, tomorrow. Is that right, buddy? And uh, that's important. That's, that's more about me, and I'm kind of making things about me. That's Are they going to cool. do, like, yoga with him? Yes. Yeah. Are they going to, like, meditate with Congo? Um, Since it's, like, a holistic I don't know. I don't know. body, mind, and spirit? Whatever is going to happen is 100% <laughs> and legit, okay? <laughs> Uh, no, I believe it. I want him to get better. That's all I want. Yeah. Because Congo is great, and he's a sweet boy. Yeah. I love Congo too, but yeah. What 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 does the holistic medicine entail for tomorrow? Like you were saying, like acupuncture. <laughs> was that was that real? Like they right, they would really do it? They they do. That's like a treatment they Damn, have. Damn! Imagine administering acupuncture to a dog. That must be the hardest job in the world. <laughs> Hold the power. Okay, lay down. Hold the power. Does he respond well to like commands? Oh yeah, like, he responds great. <laughs> Congo, lie down. We're, we're, we're gonna stick a bunch of needles oh. in you. Oh, yeah. Look at, ow, ow. <laughs> Damn it, Congo. I don't know how it's gonna go, honestly. Honestly, uh, do, do, you, do you have a vet and... like perform that or? Is yeah, it I feel like it would have to be. That's like an animal hospital, or right? Or double something. Double majored in yeah, holistic healing. medicine. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Healing tales. Veterinary. He just moved here from LA. Wait, healing they're call, tales. They're calling it healing tales. Healing tales. I like that. That's cute. They, like, they like do puppy more tails. than the tails, too. They heal all over, not just tails. Tails exclusive. all this time. <laughs> I'm going to open a store, Healing Tiles, which are like ceiling tiles that have those like geometric shapes on them that really like calm you down. And it's going to be called Healing Tiles, where you buy ceiling tiles. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I, I'm not, I wasn't pitching it. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, first question. Who are you, guys? Uh, he's Paul. I'm Paul. I'm Christian. He's Christian. You're Steven. <laughs> he's Congo. <laughs> <laughs> then so, where, who's the, where, oh fuck, I fucked it up. Where's the cave man? I, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. You're I, the already, sheriff. I already knew your guys' names, but for the audience, I just wanted to contextualize. Yeah. Well, what about the lower thirds we had? Well, we had the thirds, but <laughs> They're right here. But you guys needed to, you know, you need to hear out of the horse of the mouth. True. Or, yeah, the mouth of the horse. The horse of the mouth. <laughs> you calling me a horse? Um, In whose yeah. mouth? Yeah. Well, ours. Your ours a horse is a good thing to be called. In your mouth, I mean, collectively. Would you, would you want to be called a horse? Yeah, it's like a, you work hard. I mean, but what, what if, like, in a bad context, like, oh, look at that horse. Well, I'd be like, hmm, 
sick like diss, like call me a horse loser. I mean, like, I'd say like something like people that. People say like, horse face all the time. Like, well, horse face is different. I wouldn't yeah. want to be called a horse face bland, like whatever. Insert your insult, but so, like, Brody little pony. Brody little pony. Little. <laughs> so your collective horse miles make up odysseys. Yes. You and then there's 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 Joshy too. There's of course. Yep. Too. And D David. Yeah, David. 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 There's Josh. There's David. 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 Yeah, you know David. David Cardona. Yeah, he's our live guitarist and mixer. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the man. Have I met him? Oh, no, I don't think he came to LA. I, I don't think you met him. No, but, but he's he's amazing. He like mixed our first album. He's mixed our the first single. Yep. Oh yep. man, this is a lot David of Cardona. Man. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's worth the show. Like, he's such a handsome guy yeah. and all. I'll, I'll, he's the best. I'll pull up the yeah. And what what can one say about Josh Corbin? Uh, I mean, if you knew the guy, you, I mean, I mean, yeah, he's you you know, it's just yeah, he's just so, he's a sweet guy, sweet, most loyal, yeah. trusted, like, talented guy. Yeah, he's a, he's a utility guy. Yeah. And boy, is he handsome. Oh, and he's so handsome. Is he handsome. Yeah. Yeah, like, you take one look at the guy and you're like, this man's a saint. Yeah. There's no other explanation. Uh -huh. And yeah. it's like, he could have anything he wants, but he chooses only that which is good for him. You know? Think mm. about that. Um, Josh I, th Gordon, I think that's a really great way of saying he makes all the right decisions for himself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does Yeah, <clears throat> everything he should. And he's in a really great spot, too. Like, he's crushing it. He works for and Fender. Works for Fender. Right. Shout out to Fender. Donating sure, Fender. I mean, I wish. That'd be great. I mean, yeah, we, we definitely, we definitely them bought them, them both, but yeah. You donate to them, they give you a free gift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now that. they're sponsoring the show, so we'll take a free gift for that too. Yeah, that'll be awesome. You can give us a free gift since you're sponsoring the show. Hey, we're gonna reach out to Josh Corbin. Josh Corbin. And he's gonna talk to. He's a marketing coordinator guy. there too. Hey. So. Bada bing, bada boom. Market this. Yeah. Does Fender <laughs> have true. a signature brew that we could? No, I don't think so. No. But they're more into guitars, I think. Well, I mean, yeah, guitars, their signature brew is bases. a bunch of guitars and basses. Yeah, that's their witch's brew. Wretch. <laughs> they make some drums. Speaking of brew, yeah. what have you guys been brewing up lately mm, with Odyssey during this whole, like, quarantino we got going on? Yeah. We've had a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. cooking and, like, happening, like, throughout quarantino up to this point, at least, and then through this point, since it's still going on. Mm -hmm. Uh... Put on your masks. Yeah, I mean, wear a mask. Um, mask when you're outside. Um, wash your hands when you're inside. Yeah. We're wash both. your hands in the outside. Rivers, creeks, lakes. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. You um, your Purell. What was the Sponsored first thing? The, the first, first thing, thing we did in quarantine was the EP. Well, we finished. Well, yeah, that was the first thing that, like, the EP was came the out. That the came EP. out. Mm -hmm. and, what was uh, the EP? So it was the With You EP we put out June 2nd or June 3rd. I think it was, yeah. Yeah, one of those two days. Yeah. Um, and it just included six songs that we've been working on over the years. How's a pie, bud? It was so good. <laughs> you took that, that plate bite right there. Yeah. To clear it right in. Is that bad manners to do plate bites? Nah, dude. It's, it's great manners. It really just shows you're enjoying it. Oh my also, God. like, you can obviously tell I'm enjoying it. Like me eating it? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, you know, brought to laughter when I saw, <laughs> and I was thinking, Isn't that great? I was speaking. A moment just was, like laughing? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh my gosh. It hits different is it what does. it does. Way better than it's, it's the best serious. medicine, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the healing power any, of laughter. Yeah, if you've got any, you know, conflicts over this trying time, just remember to laugh a little bit. <laughs> You'll probably be okay. Congo's gonna love this. Oh man. Is Yo, Congo, have you tried I, laughter? Will I get in trouble with like PETA if I let him lick this? Yeah, you probably probably shouldn't because there's there's Dairy. chocolate in the. Oh the yeah, true. With the ice, ice cream, cream buddy. Uh, don't don't let Congo get sick. He's going. I don't want Congo. To don't get, get let sick. him get sick. He's already sick. Yeah. <laughs> Congo, Come on. This is gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt. Wait. This is gonna <laughs> hurt me more than it's gonna hurt. You, because I'm not giving him the ice cream. Yeah, and the ice cream would hurt him. Well, don't lower the plate as you say that. <laughs> this is gonna hurt you as much as it's gonna hurt you. It's pretty confusing every He's time. Gonna be every time you door. say no, you're putting it closer to her mouth. Yeah. It's a boy. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's 
Calm he's down. He's a boy. He's a boy. Kind of I know, he's just got great energy, you know? He does, he does, but he loves his food. He yeah. will eat just about anything. <coughs> Alright. You're being weird. So the EP so was yeah, the first the EP thing we did. Yeah, we put out <laughs> back in June, and it had six songs that we had been writing together like over the years. It would just be typically things that we would jam on and practice and just kind of like laugh about when we play or like listen to them as demos. So we thought now would be the perfect time if we could ever like put these out, it would be now, because it was just something that like meant a lot to us, and it was just like little jokes and nothing too serious. So we thought it'd be a nice little change pace with everything going on. Yeah, and then, key, like a little bit lighter. Yeah, a little bit lighter, more yeah. low-key, plus like it's very unrefined, like we mixed and mastered it ourselves too. Yeah. So we just wanted to like <clears throat> make it as <coughs> DIY and as homey as possible, like during the time that we had to, you know, <laughs> stay at home. Homey. 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 <laughs> it's a great Marge voice. He's yeah. got, he's got great voices. Yeah. Me too. And Thank you. Was, was it one of the songs from that EP that's kind of been popping off? Um, yeah, technically it came out before it, mm -hmm. but it's part of featured. like the EP's project. It was like in the same time mm -hmm. when those songs were like being worked on, mm -hmm. like at first. So. Yeah, we're talking 100,000 listens. Yeah, was it like 118 or something yeah. earlier today? Yeah, it's going to hit probably 120 by the time this comes out. So here's an here's here's active it. ticker of the listens. Yeah. And then you can see wow, it look at now versus when this is out. Yeah, no, it's like actively good. Yeah. It's like... I know, it's crazy. I can yeah. see it right here. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. It's too. right there floating in the sky. <laughs> All right, Connor, I, I might have to do a little like uh, interim or something. And now for a quick word from our sponsors. Me. I've been creating content for brands, academic institutions, nonprofits, and since coming to the warehouse and just having the cumulative knowledge that people who are further along down their career have given me, it's revolutionized the way I create content. When you're hiring me, you're hiring the collective knowledge and resources of the warehouse. Talking about the EP. Yeah, the EP. The EP. Yeah. And uh, and with you blew up. With you blew up. I mean, it's it, it, it's blew up for us. Up. It's it's currently yeah. blowing up. Yeah, I'll take up. a blow up any way yeah, you can for get us. it. We started like quarantine with like a couple hundred monthly listeners. Yeah. And now, now we're at like twelve thousand. That's great. That's the, that's good for us. We're happy. Yeah. I never thought I'd get to that point. That's something to celebrate yeah. over a nice cold glass of wine. You gotta. Yeah, it's like uh, when, when you start off on the mission and you're just, you know, fucking around making some friends and mm -hmm. some music together. It's like to see it really like kind of, it, it feels like real yeah. when you like kind of like hit a milestone like that. Yeah. yeah, true. We were happy. like. But it's funny because like it was just like one day we woke up and that was like happening when we were just doing like the same stuff with like, it really, I don't know. It's like all of a sudden, oh. Getting a bunch of streams. Yeah. Pretty cool. We've just been doing what we've been doing. It's true. It's, <laughs> you know. You've just been staying consistent with yeah. it. Yeah. 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 It's all like DIY stuff we do. So it's just like happy that the, the work and the effort we've been putting into it for years is like starting to come together. Because like, mm -hmm. I was going to say, we were happy with like the beginning of summer. Like with you hit 10,000. We're like, yeah, that's yeah. a huge moment for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now it's hit 100,000. We're yeah, like, sure. It's just going to like Yo! keep on going. Hope, that'd be I mean, cool. Hopefully, people. Once we can play shows again, that'd be yeah. even better. We have yeah. other music too. Just saying, that's yeah. cool too. Yeah, we do have other yeah. music. So if they anybody wants to listen. Well, okay. So I mean, that's up. a good. That's a good bridge. Yeah. So like, the next thing that we like did over quarantine was we finished our video, the Breathe With Me video. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. We finished it, it in like it came March, out really but we waited. Good, by the way. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. It was supposed to come out. Uh, yeah. Like in, back in April. Yeah. yeah. For the one year anniversary April of Odd Behavior. And we were gonna put it out as a you know a little way to commemorate it, but but then, you know COVID happened and everything. There's like a lot of imagery that might be misconstrued as like COVID related, but we had shot that back in like November. In November. Right. Even we conceptualized before. it in March, yeah. the previous March. The Wait, previous March. Hold on. So November, mm -hmm. 
And so it wasn't until you like January, are, you February. Are, you guys are doing the COVID related uh, well, like it, material, perhaps. Well, it just it has Did like like masks. Virus? It has no, masks and like respirators in the video, just because yeah. it's like a hospital like type and it's of like scene. A, a young person in it too. Yeah, and there's like masks too, wearing like the surgical. And he's like masks struggling and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, like, it's, yeah, just. And the like song's a, called "Breathe with Me." Yeah. yeah, it's just like unfortunate. Yeah, and then April comes around, yeah. and there's a goddamn pandemic <laughs> where yeah. people can't breathe. Seriously. Yeah, so like, it's like, what are you gonna do? But it also like, is like kind of timely, almost. I mean, if nobody wanted to share it back in April, so we had to wait till August to shoot yeah. it. So it was kind of untimely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I but, wonder though <clears throat> if you released it at its peak, what the reception would have been? Because maybe I it's bet like there would have been a ton days. of people that hated it though. Yeah, of course. And it's like we don't yeah. need anybody else I, not I, pulling I, for I us. More views though, because sure. it's like taboo. I mean, I don't Maybe. know. We don't want it to go popular because of the fact that it's taboo. We want it to yeah. go popular because people kind of like can connect with it or like want to dissect it or just at least enjoy watching it. Right. Not trying like, to cause any outrage. Yeah, you know? exactly. Right. Like we're not we're not that There's controversial. There's a little bit too much of that. Exactly. Going on. And so we were just like lucky enough to get it out when we did like back in August and have like uh, postpunk.com premiere, which was pretty cool for us because we love them and they're like the go-to website for anything postpunk. So it's just like, I don't know if we would have been able to have that back in April. So it's just kind of nice, like, how some things worked out with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And plus, like, in that time, there was a higher streaming count mm-hmm. for us, like, with, with you popping off and everything, so that a lot of people <coughs> got to see this that might not have seen it months earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's just like, you got to think of different ways to look at it. Mm-hmm. And now, release another video. Since well, another song. Our new single, too. The new song yeah. came yeah. out. Body Heat, August 28th. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was fun for us too, because it marked like a new, uh, new era start for us too. Of just like what we want to sound like and what, how we want to record and what we want to be putting out in the future, like with this project going forward. It's like a nice, faster, more energetic, harder song, which is obviously and that's really pretty cool fun. Us. Yeah, that's fun for us. All the more can't wait for shows to come back and yeah, stuff. Seriously, and just you know, get people going a little crazy. Do when you you're think, when it's safe to again, of do course. Do you think not that like, like uh, moving from Los Angeles to Chicago? Do you think the the sound is kind of changing with that, or is it just like yeah, nice yeah, for sure, definitely, for sure, because like this is the first time me and Paul have been able to live together since like college too, mm-hmm. and like you're in a new city together, and like since then you've like started listening to a lot of new music together. Mm-hmm. So like we've had this opportunity to have like a lot of time together just see what we've both been listening to and then just kind of like move off of that and share all of our new ideas since then and just kind of like collaborate and cultivate like a sound that's sounds like more mature like more present for us than it ever has been yeah that's awesome yeah the, the and like the chicago scene versus what you guys were doing out in los angeles mm-hmm. well what do you mean just like like to compare the two yeah, is it the, the, does like the I guess like the energy of the place uh, bleed into the work? Oh, like, like the city, like like, like yeah. that sort of influence. For sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. Well, like the music scene in Chicago is awesome. There's so many like great up and coming bands right now. Like B Twenties from Chicago too, mm-hmm. and just like mm-hmm. just thinking of them, it's just like awesome to be part of a new. There's a lot of really good kind Chicago of, bands. There really is. Like Dead is sick too. Slow like D E H D. Yeah, Slow Paul. And there's a whole bunch like I like Ganser too. Yeah, Ganser's got sick. some good music. Mm-hmm. So it's just I mean, like the list goes on and on. Yeah. So that's really good too. But then even just like literally just being around here is a, a more like inspirational like environment mm-hmm. for me than like LA was. Yeah. It yeah. Also, it also feels like a more connected city, like especially the scene and all. Like it's not so segregated and cut up and so far away in Los Angeles it's just like I don't know it just seems a little more all together here yeah like you can feel it like the uh, it's it's set up a little bit better just as a city whereas mm-hmm. like Los Angeles is just like so sprawling it's yeah. like it's it's tougher to like orient yourself right it's a lot harder to like get involved in like a local scene in LA mm-hmm. too just because like you have there's so many shows going on all the time how do you know which one's which and like where are you going to meet people at and like you just never know whereas mm-hmm. with here I feel like it's a lot easier to like get integrated and get involved in the scene mm-hmm. do you, is, it, is the midwestern stereotype of being more polite 
is that ever present uh, I mean, up in here? Or it, it definitely feels true. Yeah, but like, I don't know if that's because I'm coming from L.A. or if people are just supposed to always yeah, be true. this nice at a minimum. And, you know, <laughs> no, uh, no hate on L.A., you know? No I'm hate, sure, it's I'm just sure like people are way few, nicer here. A <laughs> few nice people there, but other than that, all well, assholes. It's also like, no, coming, I mean, coming from Mass, too. Like, nobody's really nice in Massachusetts. Really? Yeah. Mass holes. I guess. You could say that. They say it for, yeah, for a yeah, reason, it's I guess. Just like, well, like, I just feel like the culture out there is different, but like... Once you get to know harder. people out there, like, you know, they got you for life. Like, that's just a different type of culture. And when you're in Los Angeles, of course, everybody up front is going to seem a lot nicer, but I don't know if it's always going to be the case. And, of course, that varies person to person, but, like, sober here seems a lot more amicable than both. Like, authentic, and that's something I'm excited about yeah. exploring more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, when, you know, when we could be seeing, like, plenty of people again. Yeah, that, that's, been, that's been a bummer. It's yeah. been a while since you guys have performed live. Yeah, it's been like the last show we up played on a year. was like in December, and we had all our tours booked for this year for like March and in the summer. You guys were gonna go like June. West Coast, right? Yep, we were gonna we go had all West the way Coast and East Coast. We were gonna go from San Diego to Vancouver, and then, and then, then back from down like, to San Francisco. Exactly, and like loop like up and around and down back to all LA. around, and then we were gonna go from Miami all the way up to Montreal. Damn. Yeah, so it's just like it's kind of tough, but like we said before, we've been making the most of it too. Yeah. Like in addition, we've been really productive. Like yeah. surprisingly, almost yeah. like a yeah. lot of a lot of stuff is like turning in a good direction, 100%. and we just have like a lot of or like enough things in the pipeline to like be busy and like you know to having something else to look forward to. You know, yeah. Like so, like what what are like uh, some of the things that like you got in the works hmm. for us? Is there, well, is there anything you could let us in on? For yeah. sure. Well, uh, <laughs> for sure it is. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. This video right here, <laughs> Fever <laughs> Dreams. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be going sneak on peek. the YouTube. Yeah, break. a little sneak peek. We can play like a little clip. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get that clip going. Yeah. Wow, it's a great clip. Nice. Oh wow, he's in there. Mm-hmm. Wow, interesting. Interesting choice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, didn't know about. He's him. not even an actor, but he's yeah, he's not even an actor, but he's been crushing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great guy. Oh yeah, great, great guy. guy, great guy. He's dressed like a total schlub today, though. But I mean, fantastic guy. I Sometimes mean, you gotta schlub it up. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, that's there's highs and lows. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And he looks great right here, doesn't we he? Should, he's actually gonna start his own podcast. It's called Schlubs at Pubs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's gonna Schlubs and Bubs. He's gonna yeah, have champagne in his in his pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> in his pajamas, <laughs> basketball shorts with a bag of chips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sponsored by Burger King. Slow hand clap. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in, in addition to that, we have uh, another single coming out towards either the end of December and January, and another video hey. before that comes out, probably hey. November, mid-November, maybe late November, which is the follow-up to this one. They're yeah. all, so all they're three sequential this yes. far. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like what you guys have been doing is like going through that project and like kind of like telling a story mm-hmm. throughout right. each song, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. so we, we wanted to make um, like a visual companion to match the album. And so what we've been doing over the last couple of years is just creating uh, a VHS that'll hold all nine videos for each of the songs on it. And it all tells a story throughout and it keeps on building. But since time's gone on, it's just like kind of tougher to get them all out just with uh, not being able to film and stuff. But we were supposed we, to like shoot another one of them, like the Strange Ways video, like around when like COVID started being yeah. a thing and then we couldn't be like together and shooting things. Yeah. Because when Christian came to town that week, uh, we had like all sorts of stuff set up to do. Yeah. We had like three shows to play. Oh, and, like, that week. That yep, we were going we to play, gonna play at Hotel Fender, Cafe, Hotel yeah. Cafe. Cafe. Oh, yeah. And the, the So factory. you just already had your flight booked. Yeah, I had my flight booked. I got there. The day, like, I get there at, like, 10 p.m. It was, like, or a day something. or, yeah. The next morning, everything gets canceled. Yeah. All the shows are canceled. Yeah, like, that, dude. And that was just going to be it. That, that was a really crazy time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for we sure. Were, we were all, we were all yeah. together on that one, yeah. 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 Like, what right, got me through it. Like, oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, like, right at the dawn of COVID, mm-hmm. like, this, uh, this cast of characters were in the same mm-hmm. midst. Mm-hmm. Now, now here we are. Still in the midst of it. Yeah, and yeah, I remember you uh, were hesitant to go home, like because you were out in Los Angeles, you know. Yeah, you, you had work to be done with mm-hmm. Paul, mm-hmm. 
And I remember also feeling like I didn't mm -hmm. want to go home mm -hmm. because, you know, we were working on our stuff out there and mm -hmm. doing all that jazz. Yeah. It was a very uh, pivotal time. Right. It was a pivotal time, yeah. But, yeah. So I feel like all, all of us control. kind of made the most of it. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we all yeah. ended up in a pretty and good place. We've all been able to kind of like move forward with mm -hmm. our, our crafts and everything, kind of like luckily be safe and be in an environment where we can still explore our yeah. creativity and like just further it, further our skills. Here we with are. like even these awesome graphics, like I just can't believe how you've been able to make all that stuff so easily. Yeah. So that's what it's. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Being safe. Yeah, it, 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 you can take the like environments to be able to create uh, for granted a lot of times. Oh, yeah. But if uh, yeah, if you're like in like a, a bad living situation and. You're with people where like yeah, you can't be like producing what you want to produce. That's unfortunate, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Takes it out of you. It, it does take it out, it out of you. you. It takes it out of you 100. Mm -hmm. And then, if you can't do your creative stuff, what do you do? You you ride away. You ride away. Into a ride oblivion. Away. But then it happens to us. Great. Yeah. That's great. And so we're also working on our, our volume two zine. Oh, yeah. That that'll be started. out in the winter time. December, yeah. like maybe January. I'm thinking yeah, like January. Yeah, so like sending these yeah. zines out. To whoever to wants them. Yeah. yeah. So just you DM us your address. I got a zine. Got a zine. Oh, just, oh, it's like over there. There's one, one right on the table. Do you want me to get it for you? Yeah. Can you All get right, me that I got zine? you. Yeah. Gonna get zine. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun to do. You know? We were glad to do it. Yeah. And it's nice. It's you know, it's something. It's a nice way to connect with the you know, the audience, the crowd. Yeah, you know, who doesn't like it? who doesn't like something yeah, tangible? Yes, Should we do a read through? Should we we could uh, take it like line by line? Or yeah, you know what? Let's start at the end. There's a little game. Yeah, true. There is a game. We do you like have a pen or there. a pencil? Um, we can get one after. I don't. Oh, I didn't bring one. Yeah, that's true. You know what? Yeah. So can you a pen? If, if we take well, he pictures, can just read them and then we can write down the answers later. If we take later. pictures of this, I can like. Uh, Perfect. Uh, punch in on well, we've already screen. got them since we made the. We have the pages. We can give you the page. We have to take pictures of it. PDF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. PDF. Yeah. PDF it out. But uh, flip to the back page, uh, the very back page, not the back side, but the last page. Last page. You will find a game in there called Subjective, Subjective Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Subjective Jeopardy. It's yeah. a game that me and Paul created. You might know of the game if you were at some of the KWVS radio events mm -hmm. uh, back on campus. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Back it's on when, campus. It's when the game came to fruition. It's just kind of like bullshit questions with bullshit answers, basically. Mm -hmm. That are all subjective and incohesive. It's okay. just a game to play, and somebody mm -hmm. has to win. So right. here are the rules. The rules are pretty simple. All you got to know is the answers. The player with the most correct answers will win the first of our newest Handmade odd T-shirts. Yes, which you can see. They were which in our posts. Yep, you they can were see our in posts. the right, KWBS right post. By yeah, it's right there. That's that's right the post. There. The magic of so post production. We're probably gonna need to scrub through to like find all these. So uh, all you gotta yeah, we're do. we have to watch every single minute. <laughs> just take a picture of your game sheet, put it on your Insta story, and tag us odd, and then you're automatically entered. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's play the game, Paul. What's what's question number? Yeah, uh, question number one. Uh, what's the best Lindsay Lohan movie? Okay? Mm -hmm. Think about okay. Lindsay Lohan. Okay. Uh, is it A, a the, yeah. Iron, no, please. the Iron Giant? B, The Cat in the Hat. C, Bridge to Terabithia. Or, or D, Unfabulous. So I'm looking at all these, and <laughs> none of these are Lindsay Lohan movies. Right, so the, which... the question number one is best Lindsay Lohan movie? Yeah. Yeah. And... None of those are Lindsay Lohan. Right, but what's what's the answer? You have four answers. Okay. Oh, um, unfabulous. Interesting. Good answer. Good answer. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll see if that's the right that. answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it is a good answer. It is right. a good answer. You see uh, why it went that way. Right. Of oh, course. Without oh, a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we see I, why. I, you know what? Why did you go that way? I'd love to yeah, hear true, your, your true. rationale. Yeah. So, I'm thinking just about like the genre of mm -hmm. movie that. Lindsay Lohan. Sure, you. sure. Yeah, of course. And 
Bridge to Terabithia, I, I know for a fact that's Anna Sophia Robb. Right, that's mm. not really Lindsay Lohan territory yeah. in the first place. Yeah, she, nah. Like, I appreciate this for dissection. For obvious reasons. Yeah. I have to ask. I yeah, want to yeah, know. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Ken the Hat, uh, too quirky for her. Mm. Too, like, uh, out there. Uh, mm. Iron Giant. Vin Diesel. That's Vin Diesel. That's not... I mean, she could have played that role. She could have crushed that role. I mean, she wasn't necessarily the giant, but she could have been in the movie. She could have yeah. been... Who the? Because there's the no kid. Like, I don't know. She could have been she, the boy. Yeah, that, it might not could have been, been a girl. Earth Hughes. It could have been someone else. Yeah, yeah. could have been. I yeah, I, I kind of got. Could a, be Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, could be True. Lindsay and then, Lohan. But unfabulous. It kind of sounds like yeah, something like sounds that like, she would have done. Like yeah. Herbie fully loaded. True. Yeah, yeah, it's in the Herbie realm. Yeah, yeah. Same same mm-hmm. general play. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll, number two. Number two. Which character has had enough with your bullshit? Is it A, Eeyore? Is it B, Droopy? Is it C, Daria? Or is it D, Charles Brown? <laughs> mm, I feel like... Do you know his middle name is Manson? His name is serious? Charles Manson Brown? <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, isn't that insane? It was before all that happened. It was crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, is, that, is that real? Charlie Brown is a fictitious <laughs> character. <laughs> Yeah, but his character's full name is Charles Manson Brown. No. Yeah, no. yeah I swear no. to God, look it up. Okay. Um, you don't believe me? I think, I think Eeyore is uh, had enough with my bullshit. Good answer. That's a really good yeah. answer. I feel like that one kind of explains itself. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, you could explain it if you want, but you don't have Eeyore. to. We yeah, could just go to number three. We, we could, could yeah. just yeah, go to yeah, so number, number three. three, I guess. All right. That's Eeyore doing it. Number three. Number three. When's the best time to go outside during a DIY show? What's the best time? Um, is it A, when the opener is playing? Is it B, when the second band is playing? C, when the headliner is playing? Or D, I couldn't go. I had a thing. Mm. You know what? I feel like... No offense to the opener... But it's gotta, you gotta leave... You gotta Interesting. go to the bathroom mm. when the opener is... Right? Yeah, but, but but why? Because, well, like, I guess from, like, a hierarchical standpoint, it's like that guy, that uh, opener uh, is probably not as touted mm-hmm. as the bands that are playing after them. We've, uh, all right, Stephen hates open for bands. Yeah, no, Stephen hates open. <laughs> all right, you know what, you know what, that's fine. You know? so, all right. Next all right, question. Next question. Over. Number four. Right. Most appropriate thing to say to other bands at shows. Yeah. Uh, is it a great set? Love your tone. Is it B? Are we getting paid for this? Is it C? Who has the drink tickets? Or D? Is there a guest list? Oh boy. So like envision uh, yourself in a band. No, what would be I'm the kind of nervous Steven answer because I offended you guys so much. Well, time. so this is as if like you're in a band. So like sure. it's a, if you're like, what sure. would you say to another band? Like right. when you're at the show, like to play. Mm. Like what is the most? What do we say? Most appropriate thing. Most appropriate. Um, Don't forget, think, there is a right answer. Yeah. Okay. So. There's not a correct answer. Like I want to say who has the drink tickets because it's like, you know, mm. amicable. It's like, hey, you know what? Like, you know, I see past, you know, just the fact that you're in a band. Like, I love you just for who you are, brother. I want to be with you. Type of vibe. Congo. Um, uh, but mm-hmm. the, yeah, that's real. Time, that's real. Great set. Love your tone. That's like probably more. Um, Congo. Congo. You want to play? You don't like his answer? It's what, a bad dude? Answer. I'm gonna say it's great okay. set, love your tone. It's okay. Um, hmm. And I think I'm wrong, but I'm gonna go with that. Well, you'll find out yeah, after you'll the find show. Out. At least you gave the band's compliment. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to be mean. Yeah. At the very least, I feel like that's. I yeah. feel like that's a good way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but she brings us to uh, number five. Yeah, number five. All right. Which best, is the, be, best cereal mascot. Best, cere- best cereal mascot. <laughs> the be- oh. The best. The, the, is it a? Diggum? Is it B, yeah. Crackle? Of the famed trio. Okay, uh, yeah. C, Mr. Clean? Or D, Joe Camel? So... Joe Camel. I, I know for a fact Camel. a few of these aren't serial mascots. Am I supposed to like go with my, my head or my gut? I mean, this? definitely you, your gut. You definitely want to go with your gut on this. It's subjective, Jeopardy. Yeah, like, 
Uh, uh, it's what seems like the answer is yeah. the thing, you know? You just want to think about like what the answer would be? Joe Camel. I mean... Joe Camel? If it's subjective Jeopardy. It's subjective mm, Jeopardy. Like, the, the whole idea of subjectivity, it's like my, uh, my brain isn't really that developed yet, so mm. like, I can't mm. okay. even grasp it. That's kind of the best person to play the game... You know, you don't really want to think too much about it. Right, you just want just, to let yourself experience yeah, it. You just want yeah. to click the first answer that most resonates with you. Yeah. 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 I, I think I might be overanalyzing it right now. That's okay. Well, that that brings us to our last question, which, yeah. like, you may have picked up on. You might have heard us say it earlier today, but oh. what's our cat's name? Is it A, Juno? Is it B, Gunther? Is it C, Diane? Or D, Wagyu? Well, it's Gunther, right? Final answer? Yeah. Do, do, do. yeah. Mm. Maybe. That's Next all we can question. say right now. You answered Gunther. How's our zine? Yeah. Was it A, fine? B, needs work. C, hilarious? Or D, other? Um, Even though we've only played the game so far. Uh, I mean, we got to see the good I, stuff. All this good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go with... Hilarious, but I don't know if the rest of the tone is like hilarious. Um, Wait, you know what? Let's, let's you look can just zine first. Yeah. Before we answer it. Yeah. Yeah. The you want to hold this? Yeah. I'm holding it. Hold right now. I know. I didn't even. Yeah. Let's look through. So you have the, the first page. Huh? The first page. I don't know if you notice the artwork. Yeah. If you if you put yeah. in the comments yeah. the, the name of the cover, cool. not. If you, you can give either the references or the name of the piece, and if you guess it right, you also win a shirt. Oh wow! Okay, I want a Here shirt. Here we go. But, Up in the states. But good luck. <laughs> Christian, are you in this picture? Yeah, I'm the one all the way on the right. All the way on the uh, right. That's you. you and then you have handsome Josh. Serbian. Thank you. So the first, I'm actually Greek. The first oh, page is just kind of very close. Kinda, oh, nice. They kind of talk about our credo, like what we. Fuck yeah. with, you know. We just uh, want to create an inclusive environment. Yeah. Everybody keep paid out. Hey, dude. Fucking assholes, too. Yeah, uh, you know. Kanga, Kanga. Um, Kanga, buddy. Oh, okay. I feel like this is pretty, like, pretty straightforward stuff, to be honest, but if you need to see it, it's there. Yeah. Front and center, because that's where that's we're at, you know? Yeah. Um, Guess the next and the next, the next page is more like, it's like a, it's like a self-written bio. Up here. Clown around quite a bit, you know. <coughs> we like to keep things pretty light. Um, we got Sorry, little Congo's little droopy dog. That's yeah. oh, okay. Congo droopy dog like a, Congo in a new environment. Yeah, we love you, Congo. He's so, doing a good job. So you, so you guys. Are, <coughs> oh boy, Congo. Congo. Congo you you can't bark just out? the second we stop giving you attention, dude. You know. That. <coughs> hey. No, you know that. You Congo, know that. Come on, we have neighbors. We're not even supposed to have dogs. <coughs> Congo. Oh, come on, Congo. Congo, come here. Come here. Come, come here. here. Come here. Oh. There Congo's he is, okay. folks. Congo's limping a little bit. Yeah, he is. You okay, Congo? Is he alright? Is he in pain? I think he's okay. But I'm, I'm gonna have to get him to... The doctor my, tomorrow. My bros. Oh, for the medicine. Oh, true. Yeah, true, 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 true. True. Well, anyway, we'll just speed through the rest of this zine then. Yeah. A little bio. A little self bios, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit of the yeah, art yeah, that we, fun, the cool. art that we use. Yeah. It's fun. It's cool. Uh, this is L. She does a lot of our graphic work. Um, hey. She's the greatest follower there. Ocean's Eleven Ocean's on 11, Instagram. You can see her work up here. Um, wow. Bunch of work up yeah. here. And our friend Annie. Yeah, don't she's forget Annie's work at, at Ann Schwartz Art. Ann Schwartz Art. Ann Schwartz Art. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Um, we talk about each other, like yeah, which is our nice. take on each other, like one, one oh. person on one person. Congo. Come on, Congo, come here. Congo. Which is nice because you know for a lot of times for bands you don't yeah, see what like, the other thinks of them yeah. or like properly yeah. give them attention or yeah. that light totally went out just because you pulled it out of the wall. Uh, yeah, we lost the light. It's okay. Kongi. It's we're going dark for the last That's segment. Right. Yeah, it's fine. And uh and then we just kinda of talk about where the videos are at on this page. Congo. Which you'll see more of and hear more of soon. Uh, mm -hmm. because Fever Dreams comes out on the 30th, which yeah. might be probably before this comes out. So yeah. you can watch our new video watch on our YouTube, video. on our YouTube page. And you know what? For anybody who watches this, we're going to put out a single at the end of December in January called Moner. Yeah. yeah. It's called Dude. Moner, and you can hear it then, yeah. everywhere. So wait. And save the January? USPS. Yep. Probably either uh, the last yes. week of December or first week of January. Yeah. Decide. It's going to either be a, a, 
a end of the year thing or a new year thing? Year. But it might be nice yeah, to dude. start the, the new year off hot with a brand new song. Yeah. As opposed yeah, to end it. Because I feel like this has been a pretty big year for Odd. Just been putting out a lot of work. Yeah, and, and, and it's the start of a new year. It's, uh, there, we, there, folks. We settled it here. You guys <laughs> we'll do it in January. You guys have been Let's like, go. grinding on this stuff Honestly, for like best. years now, <laughs> and uh, you guys have really like committed to the the process, like oh, just yeah. like, being consistent with it. So it's really great to see all that hard work you guys are doing, like you know, deliver in some uh, you know some traction, some serious yeah. traction you guys got going on. Feels good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think ah! the way you guys are going, yeah, maybe it's only gonna be more of that. Uh, That'd be cool. I'm, yeah, that'd I'm, be okay I'm, with I'm me. That is the goal. It. I'm prophesying. It. It's been prophesized. But uh, appreciate Prophesy. you guys uh, coming on the program. Oh, appreciate you guys having me and Congo at the domain. And uh, we love being at the Congo. domain. Yeah, dude. Congo, he's a great guy. Love them. Check out the Congo documentary. Check Come out, out Save too. Congo. Yeah. What is it Save, called? Saving Congo. Saving Congo. Saving yeah. Private Congo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saving Congo Ryan. All right. Uh, Saving Charlie Manson Brown. Should we? <laughs> is there anything else you guys want to plug before um, we wrap it up? Buy, sell, trade. Odysseys. Buy, sell, trade. <laughs> buy, yeah. sell, trade. Yeah. Selling buy, Nasdaq sell, trade. It's crazy. Yeah. PE ratio is, is fantastic. Buy high on ODD dollar sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Odd Dot House. Odyssey's new stuff coming out soon. Old stuff out. Old style. On old stuff out, web. old style. Check these guys out. They're, they're doing the dang thing, and they're doing it well. All nice. Right. God bless. COVID. We can't. COVID knuckle touch. <laughs>